one hoop. The, all the water lubrication just spilled all over my pants. Oh my god, that's so wet. Hello, it's Tara, and to clarify, I have a spinal cord injury at the T11 and T12 level. But I'm going to do a review of the catheters that I have been using um, and the catheters that I've sampled, in addition to cathing tips to learn to cath yourself without a mirror. Um, and then also at the end of the video, I'll be talking about ways that you can try to limit some UTIs. The catheters that I used for the first shipment were Kathleen, and it looks like that. And inside you get some gloves. They're pretty big actually, but they are sterile. Um, a little blue under pad. I call these dry things, but they're really just like dry gauze. Um, you're, you use them after. Um, and then two really small towelettes. And then the cathing bag itself, it unfolds and it holds up to 700 milliliters. And it also comes with a little bag to put all your trash in. Um, I like it because it does hold 700 and that's usually enough even if you kind of forget for a little while and it comes with everything that you can need but sometimes stuff rips and it's just kind of cheap. I also used Cure Twist. Once you open it this catheter doesn't come with as many supplies but it still comes with gloves. These gloves are really huge and then it comes with this. It's a waterproof pad it is wrapped around the catheter itself. So here's the catheter. Um, the bag itself holds up to 1500, which I would really hope that you wouldn't let yourself get that bad, but you kind of have to assemble this one by taking this out and then basically connecting them. But the wipe that this one comes with is bigger when you unfold it. And as for this new shipment, I actually didn't request either of the old catheters. I got two different ones by going online and requesting to sample catheters. And basically, you fill out a questionnaire and they just have to verify with your doctor that you do have a current prescription for catheters since it is kind of a controlled product, I guess. So first off, I have this one. It's really small and I really like it. Um, but obviously it doesn't come with any other supplies, so you have to get those separate. It's called Speedy Cat Compact Set, and it's made by Coloplast, I want to say. So you kind of just twist it off. And this one, once you unfold it, holds 750 milliliters, so slightly more than my old Kathleen. And it's already, like, um, assembled, so that's pretty quick. And then once it's like that, you just twist it off, but you do have to twist it this way and take it out this way um, because if you do it like upside down, the water lubrication inside of it will actually leak sometimes a little bit. And the cool thing about this one is that it actually reseals once you're done. Um, let's say if you cath in the bed or somewhere else in the car or something, once you're done, it won't leak anywhere. The second catheter that I ordered for this shipment is called Speedy Cath Compact. So it's actually just like the other one made by the same people, but this one isn't a set. Um, so it doesn't come with the bag, it's just the tube. And this is also made by Coloplast, obviously. And it's really small and looks just like that. So clearly it's really discreet. It's probably smaller than a tampon. And you also just untwist this one. Um, same thing with this one. If you open it the wrong way, um, the water lubrication will leak. And this one is for sure it will leak. So you have to open it like this, upside down. Now, I never ordered these and I never actually used these either. Um, these were samples like the other ones, but they just didn't really work for me. But I'll still show you them. Um, these are also made by the same company, made by Compact Cath, and this one is called Compact Cath Light, um, and that's the back of it. And this one's called Compact Cath Straight Tip. So for the Compact Cath Light, you pull this tab to open it on the back, 
Once you take all the wrappers off, including this little paper on top, you're left with this little tiny disc and the tubing is in the back. And I'm really not quite sure how to use this, but clearly it doesn't have a bag attached. So you'd have to empty, empty it right into the toilet. But this tube is quite longer. I want to say that I read that it was 16 centimeters. And as for the other catheter made by Compact Cath, it honestly looks quite similar to the one we just opened. It's another disc one. And I think you're meant to pull this thing, I want to say, um, out. Yeah, it's very slimy. I don't really, this is why I didn't use this. Um, I just couldn't figure it out. Um, it could be simpler, but you could still always um, go online and order it for yourself and try to figure it out. There were directions that were attached, but I don't think I was just patient enough to read the directions. And lastly, for the samples that I never actually ended up using, um, there was this one called Speedy Cath Standard, um, also made by Coloplast. And this is a female one. It looks like it could possibly be a male one since it's this long, um, but it feels like it's also just open-ended. I think I broke it. Oh, I didn't. So I think you can actually open it on either end that you want. <gasps> No, all the water lubrication just spilled all over my pants. So I guess you shouldn't open it on the end with the tube, not the opening, not the, yeah. But it's just like, it looks just like that. It's just obviously a lubricated tube, um, no bag, but this one's quite long. I guess if your urethra was longer. Personally, I chose the Colplast Compact and the Colplast Compact Set because they were really small and discreet. If you do actually end up ordering any catheters that don't come with the antiseptic towelette like this, um, the compound is called BZK, um, so that stands for Benzyl Conium Chloride, I think. Um, I'll put it on the screen. And I have found some online that you can order off Amazon. Um, I would read the reviews though because I actually ordered some that weren't wet. They weren't, they just kind of felt dry. Um, so I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, but I have come to realize that someone's told me that insurance companies do pay for the BZ, um, K towelettes. So my bad. But I guess just look into it and ask your urologist because I have heard different answers by different people. As for the tips on learning how to cath yourself without a mirror um, as a female, I would make sure that when you are on the toilet or something um, that you actually are looking down and make sure your shirt isn't in the way either. But I would look down and make sure that you can at least see the direction that you're pointing the catheter in is straight unless your um, personal anatomy is different because I have heard that um, each woman's location of her urethra can be slightly different than the other so it's really individual to you but personally I try to make sure that the catheter is pointing um, in a straight direction and also some women I don't do this um, personally because I don't really feel like it helps me because then my hands in the way um, but some women do put one gloved finger um, in their other hole the wrong hole um, on purpose just so they know not to go in there because you can't if that makes sense um, you're gonna know where you're going if you can feel your fingers so that would clearly tell you to redirect the catheter. Also, sometimes I line a catheter up in the exact right spot and it still doesn't want to go in. Um, so you're not supposed to force it in like aggressively when it is trying to do something like that. And I've heard that coughing can actually um, help or bearing down. So I'm, I mean, I think that just means 
pushing kind of um, not to get the pee out but to open the urethra and also um, I have had one UTI in the past before I started cathing and I've had probably like five or six diagnosed UTIs so about one for every month if you think of it like that um, so I definitely have a problem with cathing but I do know a lot of people actually use some pill called d manos I will also put that in the description down below and there are studies out there that state that um, the d manos can try to prevent or limit UTIs so maybe I'll try to find an article for you guys and I'll maybe put that in the des description down below too if you want to look into it and I have been taking d manos since before I even got home so um, I don't really know if it works or not because I've always been on it but just because I have a lot of UTIs doesn't mean that it doesn't work it could possibly still be limiting some and I could have had more by now if I wasn't taking the D-manos and this is just common sense but you're gonna want to make sure that your um, hands are clean um, by either washing them before or using hand sanitizer and you're going to want to wipe yourself with an antiseptic towelette a sterile towelette if you can um, before you cap just to make sure you're clean down there um, and also wipe front to back and that is also common sense but I need to put that out there and you're gonna want to maintain a good bowel program that's working for you um, because accidents obviously can get you dirty down there and you can get infections especially girls since the urethra is so close I think that's all for you guys today I really hope that you got something out of this that you didn't know and I still use a mirror most of the time when I'm cathing so it's okay if you're a little out there um, in time after your injury and are still using a mirror but yeah thank you guys bye Oh, <laughs>